We've looked at how to add displacements, and now we will learn a general principle, the general rule for adding any vectors. In fact, any number of vectors. Make sure that you take good notes on this clip. Alright, let's look at adding uh, two vectors. We begin with a north, south, west, east grid. And let's look back when we had two displacements, 12 kilometers east and 25 kilometers, if you will, uh, to due north. Now these are two displacements that were added and the total, the sum of these two displacements was where I started and where I ended, as you see with the red arrow. Now we find r by Pythagoras and theta by the tangent. And if you understand this, you will understand how to add any two vectors, whether they're forces, velocities, momentums, anything that are vectors, this is how they add. Now here's another example. Let's suppose I can push with a finger with a force uh, to the right. And another finger pushes directly up. Now what happens if one finger pushes on the other? They work, move right up the middle and we get the sum of those two forces right up the middle. And if I bring that left arrow over, you see that I have one arrow to the right, one arrow vertical, just like the two displacements. And the sum is where I started and where I ended, and that's the sum of two forces. I find r by Pythagoras and theta by the tangent. Now there's a general rule, and here's what it is. Vectors add head to tail. And you'll see that's exactly what happened with the displacements. Suppose I have two vectors pulling like this, um, or they can be forces. There's the head of one, and there's the tail. And on the other vector, the head is where the arrow is, and the tail is at the other end. Now we have to add them head to tail. That's the rule. And it doesn't matter which vector we use. Let's take this one on the left. And if I bring it over, I will put the tail of that vector on the head of the other. And the sum is where I start and where I end. But I don't have to use that vector. I can use the one that is going to the right. I can bring it right up, put it on the head of the other, and notice I get exactly the same sum. A plus B equals B plus A. They don't have to be at right angles either. I can bring that vector over, and now they're, they're head to tail. The sum is where I start and where I end. And once again, it, I can use the other vector. I can bring it up, and you will see I get exactly the same sum. Now some people like to refer to what's called the parallelogram method. Here are two vectors that need to be added. It, they would form a parallelogram that would be like a rectangle. So just complete the parallelogram and then draw an arrow from where, they, the, where the, they're joined to the end of the parallelogram. Here are two that are not at right angles. Once again, complete the parallelogram. Here's where I start, and there's where I end. And you can use that to add two vectors. Another, let's suppose you have several vectors you want to add. You can just pick them up and move them around head to tail, as many as you want. And where I start, and I go all the way to the tip of where I end, and that's the sum of those vectors. 